What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Oregon Rule Fishing video. I am out here at a very special lake because this is the lake that Elijah caught the 10 in. This time last year, well it was about two weeks later than this time last year, but the weather and the water temperature were about like this. So I'm hoping that today I can get my first largemouth bass of the year. Uh, I've made a couple like tiny evening trips out this year, fishing for like an hour or less. So I don't really want to count those as trips. So this is my first like real bass trip of the year, you could say. And I am hyped, hyped to be out here. Throw or no? I say throw. I also got that. I'm gonna start with that one. Use the blues back up. That'll be the plan for now. All right, we'll fish. Let's go. Fish on. Fish on, guys. It's not big, but it's the first bass of the year. And it's on a freaking chatterbait. Let's go. Let's go, dude. All right guys, I just switched up the batteries because it died right as I landed that fish, but we've got a nice little, little one pounder top lip hookup on the chatterbait. Oh, that's insane. Beautiful little fish. Get them back. Oh yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Dude, let's go. I'm so pumped. I didn't think I was going to catch anything, man. And on the chatterbait, what are the odds? My only two chatterbait fish, first fish of 2021 and the first fish of 2022. It's just a tradition now. I, from now on, I have to catch my first bass of the year on chatterbaits. Come on, I just need one big fish. One, like four plus pounder. That would be insane. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy enough getting one fish. But man, if I could get one more, and it'd actually be a big one, how cool would that be? Oh, that is a fish. That's a good one. Good fish. Good fish. Feels good. It's better anyways. Oh, in the shallows. In the shallows. It's a better fish. It's not giant, but... <laughs> Top lip hook up. Oh, let's freaking go. It's a bigger one anyways. Crab him with my broken hand, how about that? Woo! Dude, in like a foot of water again. Chatterbait is putting in work today, look at that. Ooh, that's a little chunk. That's easily a two. He's got the body of a one, 1.2, 1 1.3, but man, he's fat. Look at that. Let's freaking go. See you, buddy. Dude, Chatterbait is putting in work in the shallow water. I get so frustrated out here on a kayak, but dude, it pays off with fish like that. And again, he's in like, literally a foot of water I just made a cast behind me in super shallow water dude that was insane before I go any further into this video I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about a really cool company called Hysia Hysia makes a variety of different rubber boots and even a few pairs of waders they were actually kind enough to send me a pair of boots to try out in a video and give my honest review of so as you probably noticed from just watching this video, I was wearing their boots. Now, I'm not really one to support a product if I don't actually enjoy using it, which is why I wore these boots for my last three fishing trips, so I could give, you know, some honest feedback and honest review of uh, what I think. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So, first off, let me just say the traction on bottom of these is amazing. I was walking on lots of uh, loose gravel and things like that and even slick mud and I never had 
any problem with balance at all. And if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know I'm not the most balanced person out there. The main thing I like about them though is they're waterproof. Personally, I don't like fidgeting with waders and having to wear a pair of waders for getting in and out of a kayak, but I don't like getting my feet wet when it's, you know, it's still in the 50s and 60s out. So the boots were just kind of the perfect alternative. You know, you just pick them up and go. They're just, they're easy to slip right on. It's easy to get in and out of kayak in them without getting your feet wet. And last but not least, comfortability, I would rate it very highly. Very comfortable to wear. They have pretty soft soles and just, soft all around. I mean, I know you guys probably can't see this very well, but they're very soft. If you are interested in picking up a pair of these boots, which I highly recommend you do so, make sure to use my discount code OREGONHS. Again, that is OREGONHS. Putting it right here on the screen so you don't forget it. Uh, they're very reasonably priced, and as far as I can tell just from my personal experience with them, they are very quality. I would definitely recommend that if you are in the market for some boots or waders that you check them out. But for now, back to the video. After catching my first couple of bass of the year on this lake, I decided to go back the following week. I had actually been pond hopping most of the day. Since I had been skunked at all my other spots, I decided to give this spot a try because I knew it wouldn't disappoint. Yeah, Cheetle was slow earlier though. I'm not even gonna really show any footage from that. Except Christian did catch a couple on a chatterbait, but it was just cold and slow. And two fish between two people in two hours is not a ton of action really. It's not bad, like I'm not complaining, but I know the potential this place has, you know. Oh, dude, I watched him take it. Good fish. Oh my gosh, that was insane. That bite was insane. What? Dude, dude, I watched him eat it. That's like a nice two pounder at least. Maybe bigger. Oh my gosh, dude, on the spinner bay, let's go. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, chunker. Watched him eat it in the shallow water. Dude, that was insane. That's why I love bass fishing right there. All right, man. On the spinnerbait side of the lip. That was just so cool because I watched him eat it. I never get to do that with fish. One more look for the camera. Chunky, two and a half maybe. Yeah, buddy. Always think there's gonna be a fish in this brush pile, and I'm sure there are fish in it, but I never get hit when I cast by it. What? I was about to lift it out of the water, dude. I was about to lift it out of the water. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys saw that. He's not even hooked that great. Well, side of the mouth. Let's see if we can bring him in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that the same freaking fish? This one's a little bigger. I guess I might actually get a weight on this guy because he's a chunky one. About like I thought. Locked in at two pounds, 14 ounces. So just shy of three. Another beautiful fish. Chunky one, man. Hit it right on the surface. Ready to go, see ya. This is bass fishing for you. If one spot's not working, just hop spot to spot. It's tough to river hop when uh, steelhead fishing. I mean, not to say, oh, dude, good fish. Here we go. This might be him, I don't know. I can't even tell. It feels really good. He's pulling me. I just want to see this fish. Are you kidding me? It's freaking like one pounder. <laughs> oh man. Well, might be a little over a pound. That's a beautiful fish though. I didn't even think that was a fish. I was talking about who knows what. That's a solid little fish. Number three of the day. 
I will take it, dude. Spinnerbait freaking putting in the work today. No, I thought that was a good fish. He was just pulling so hard, but that is a beautiful fish, dude. Just the stripe on that guy is amazing. Giant fins. Great looking fish. Grow big, buddy. Grow big. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a long time since I posted any bass videos, but I'm definitely getting back into it. And you're gonna be seeing a lot more bass content this year. I know a lot of you have been wondering when my next tournament is gonna be, and I'm sorry that I haven't made an official announcement on it yet. I'm just narrowing down a date, trying to make sure I have the day off, but it will be announced soon, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.